many oppressed individuals are equivalent of my brothers and sisters, and thus it becomes my duty to echo their cry against injustice. May God protect us all. The, uh, this poem is called Freedom Will Prevail and Tyrants Will Fail. All the beautiful people I meet daily, all the thoughts they have to live freely, all their hopes or wishful dreams, since no one hears the oppressed screams. Their tears are ignored, no one likes being bored. The frowns are forgotten, no one likes, no one points fingers at the rotten. The sorrow and the sadness they face when they realize no one brings justice to their case. How can we not question the distress around us when misery is the only thing that surrounds us? The only arms we need to solve issues, we're born with them. Then why produce an arms race to create a storm with them? Are we born under evil or are we born to be evil? Why do we give up on being good? Well, then we could strive harder to not be misunderstood. Then we can carry each other's burdens so we won't end up with broken shoulders. And we can probably notice how people around us won't grow to be colder. I can assure you that no one's fortune is damned from the start. It only becomes hopeless when we murder for fortune and tear people apart. When our authority oppresses the majority and makes sure on the map they're known to be a minority. Since colonialism made sure diasporas were for benefit. Indigenous people are refugees and there's no end to it. Knowing the truth and still remaining silent is actually worth and ignoring it and being violent. When you're given power to understand reality, then why back away when you can end brutality? Or at least be a voice to change people's mentality. Why do we provide fair for a war that's unjust and unfair? Why do we stand far sighted? Why do we stand far sighted when the truth is near sighted? Raise your voice for what you believe, even if ignorance is what you receive. The truth is always lacking supporters, so why back away from it and not be a reporter? Advocating is needed when innocent people bleed to death. Voices are needed when the helpless blood is shed. We must stand together to make actions towards change. Why become a slave to a system that keeps us chained? Our silence will only continue to promote violence, and our noise will only grow defiance. Commotion is risky, but we need an alliance towards a system that's keeping us from unity, and the sense of Jasmine Revolution gave an opportunity. Uh, and then a wave of new spring came to our doors that spoke of peace. It brought together those who had forgotten to live with harmony. Without this uplifting occurrence, people were complying to the enemy. Thus, they said they had enough of dictatorship, so their thoughts started exceeding media censorship. And united, they stood against the enemy forces. They stood steady even when they came rushing with horses. Because the power of brotherhood is much stronger than the forces of oppression. You can't quiet down people when they broke free from suppression. Now they're on the street gathers and gathered in herds to make sure their voices are heard. You can't silence peaceful chants and yearnings of freedom. These tyrants and their fake promises can never free them. So now they're taking their lives into their own hands. This, the justice system is something that blindly stands. And you can't call me an anarchist since I'm aiming with my pen and not my fist. And even if I was, what's wrong with fighting for free will? And I'm revolting against those who kill. And I brought people to the streets to, sh to show we have the same needs. And we won't quiet down till we're free. Wherever are those who rise against totalitarian total Totalitarian authority, not those who make repression their priority. Screams for freedom rose from Tunisia and were heard in Egypt. Then they continued as a ripple effect in Yemen and Syria. My brothers and sisters stayed strong in Bahrain and Libya. Palestine, Palestine, how can I forget you? When my prayers, I can never neglect you. I see how the Zionists infect you. We'll break the fall wall of siege and towards freedom we will reach. All the Arab nations are now united. The fire is now ignited. And it will not only die out when people try and not the tyrannical regimes. Freedom-filled reality will replace our hopeless dreams. This revolution was televised. You can't continue to terrorize. Our blood, tears, and emotions will make sure this isn't a pseudo-revolution. History teaches you will have to fight to reach free will resolutions. And this fight for my rights will continue till I receive them. My thoughts will inform actions that I have known that since I conceived them. Remaining silence during atrocities is what got us here in the first place. And I'm not going to I'm not going to stop until I find an assuring place. Revolutions can be fully victorious if another puppet comes to lead, but I'm certain the hard work of my people won't be wasted in their good deeds. The quality and the love that came through these phenomenal events make sure no tyrant will be able to lead without our consent. We held the power, we took the responsibility in our own hands, and we will have the best outcome from our revolutionary plans. I will not let the blood, sweat, and tears of my people go to waste. Their hard work for this uprising can't ever be erased. And whoever is up to dominate the ne next will taste the bitter medicine that the last one faced. This is for occupied lands and dominated nations, suppressed people, martyrs of revolution. These hands can't remain in shackles forever, and this mouth can be taped. When I can hear all these nations screaming while they're being murdered and raped. Thanks to these revolutions for reminding us that the power belongs to the people. So power to the Arab people. Thank you. Yeah.